Hello guys, welcome back to my channel which is Explore the Adobe. This is Zunaira Hanif and in this tutorial I am going to show you that how you can create this art artwork or photo manipulation in Photoshop. So, uh, you, of course you can download all stock images by the link which I have provided you in description. So, let's start it. Here you can see that I am going to use these three images. Here is aeroplane and here I am going to use this road and background image and also as my whole uh, this. So first I will drag this image to my original docu uh, document. So here as you can see I have zoomed the image like this. Now first I will make a hole in this image. So for making this I will go to shapes and from here I will choose ellipse tool so make sure here you have selected shape now I will create like this so when you are creating an elliptic elliptical uh, so uh, make sure you are holding your shift key because it will create a square elliptical so First I will, I can give it any color, don't worry about it. I will place it in the center. Now I, I am pressing Ctrl or Command T. So I will adjust it completely with the edges like this. Now it is okay. So here you can see it is looking better. Now I will go and choose this background image I will drag it here so here you can see it is here so first I will make it invisible and go back to my uh, background layer so you need to hold your control button uh, or command from your keyboard and just click on the thumbnail of your ellipse so of your circle here you can see it has uh, taken the selection of your circle you can make it invisible so basically it has been selected now I will add layer mask so here you can see now it has uh, taken the selection to the layer mask so now I will press by holding on layer mask I will press ctrl or command I so now it is looking like this so which is cool now you what you need to do make visible to your original layer the which you are going to use and make it below your background here you can see it is looking much different now now press ctrl or command t and you just need to adjust it so before adjusting i will go back to my background and i will place it at upward like this now I will go back to my uh, layer and simply press Ctrl T and I will adjust it like this. So it is looking much better now ok. So what you need to do, do take the copy of your layer by Ctrl or Command J which also bring it at the top of your background like this. Sorry. So what you need to do you just need to reduce the up first you can take the selection of road by quick selection tool so here you can see it is very easy to take the selection like this and later we can fix it if there is any error in the selection so simply as you can see I have taken the selection now I am going to add layer mask like this so now you just need to press ctrl T we are enlarging the size of our road just don't worry we will fix it like this so now you just need to right press of your keyboard and just choose wrap from here you can simply wrap the land so make sure you are uh, your edges are combining here so therefore i am expanding it more 
and also from here so now it is looking much better click ok now to make it more realistic go to your layer mask and choose your brush tool make sure your foreground color here here you can see your foreground color should be white so now you just need to remove it like this from the edges so like this so now here you can see it is looking much real now so it is okay now we just need our airplane here you can see here is the original image but as you can see I have already cut out my subject so here I am enabling again my layer mask now drag it to your original document and make sure you are it is below to your road so don't worry about it reduce the size by control I command T so simply so here we need more to reduce the size like this I think it should be at the above of your road it will it will look more cool so here you can see how easily we have created this if you want to add shadows of your of your airplane simply you can double click on your layer from here here is the option which is drop shadow here you can see so you can check the setting which is distance spread size and opacity so now it is looking much realistic so i hope that you have enjoyed the video if yes please don't forget to like subscribe and give your reviews in comment section thank you